Jelly Bean's Story Page, Tommy's High Flying Fun, A Storytime Adventure. Once upon a time, in a little town called Willowbrook, there was a boy named Tommy. Tommy was an adventurous and curious eight-year-old who loved to explore the world around him. He had a big imagination and often dreamed of soaring through the skies like a bird. One sunny afternoon, Tommy was playing in his backyard when he noticed a beautiful white dove perched on the fence. The dove had a tiny scroll tied to its leg with a red ribbon. Intrigued, Tommy slowly approached the bird. To his surprise, the dove didn't fly away. Instead, it cooed softly, as if encouraging Tommy to take the scroll. With trembling hands, Tommy untied the ribbon and unrolled the scroll. It was a magical map, shimmering with golden light. The map showed a path leading to a mysterious place called Skyland, a land high above the clouds where children could fly like birds and have all sorts of fun. Tommy's eyes widened with excitement. Without wasting a moment, he followed the map's directions. It led him to an old oak tree at the edge of the town. The tree had a hidden door at its base, and as Tommy opened it, a staircase spiraled up into the sky. Tommy climbed the stairs with eager anticipation. As he reached the top, he stepped into a world like no other. The sky was a brilliant blue, dotted with fluffy white clouds. The air was filled with the sound of laughter and the gentle fluttering of wings. In Skyland, Tommy discovered that he could fly. With a leap, he soared into the air, his arms outstretched like wings. He zoomed past the clouds, did loop-the-loops, and even played tag with the birds. The feeling of freedom was exhilarating, and Tommy laughed with pure joy. As he explored Skyland, Tommy met other children who had also found the magical map. They played together, creating cloud castles, having sky races, and discovering new places high above the world. There was no limit to the fun they could have in Skyland. But as the sun began to set, Tommy knew it was time to go home. With a grateful heart, he thanked the white dove, who had been his guide all along. The dove cooed one last time and pointed Tommy back to the staircase. Tommy descended the stairs, and as he reached the bottom, he found himself back in his backyard. The dove had disappeared, but the magical map was still in his hand. Tommy carefully rolled it up and placed it in his special treasure box, knowing that he could return to Skyland whenever he wanted. From that day on, Tommy would often visit Skyland, where he could fly high and have endless adventures. And every time he returned, he brought a little bit of that magic back with him, filling his days with wonder and excitement. And so, Tommy's high-flying fun continued, reminding him that with a little imagination and a lot of heart, the sky was never the limit. It was just the beginning, the end.